Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? What the fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to hell that this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about reefer. No, no, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This, this is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want to drag? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. I grew up myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to nirvana. Fuck, give me that. Yeah, here, you hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. It's a pure, mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nothing serious, but uh, oh. I never let them get too near. Oh, the fuck is that? You see, the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. So I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discussed globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause.
For me, get off your fat ass. I see this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Easy. I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck you. All of you. I'm on a run. Mm. Well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay. Hey. I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever, just don't have a coronary. Let's go! Huh. Whoa! Okay, ma'am, boobs, race you to Pardon the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. Yeah, if your uncle was the same age as you, you mean? Although that would explain a lot. Fuck you! Why are you so angry? I'm not angry! I'm exercising! How's that prostate holding up? I can't tell if you're loving this or hating it! You still with me? Down this way! Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. Drop dead. Yeah! Red light burger shot's about to close! Hello? Hey, man, what's up? The failed shock! This is so tragic. You make me feel well adjusted. <clears throat> you broke my cadence, you fucking moron! Stay out of my way, Muffin Top! This must be so emasculating for you! Uh, you should really think about behavioral medication! Just give up! You're overcompensating! Okay, here we go! Last push! Come on! Marianne, let's go lactic! I thought I had issues, but you? You give me hope! I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit! Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy! Looking forward to getting ripped later. I don't give a shit. Come on, carbs! Don't let me down now! Like dogs in heat! It's too here, too. That's right, I'm confident. You would be too if you should. <laughs> Screw you, glass ceiling! <laughs> Men suck! I rule! <laughs> okay, ma'am boobs, race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running! How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. Yeah, if your uncle was the same age as you, you mean? Although that would explain a lot. Fuck you! Why are you so angry? I'm not angry, I'm exercising! I can hear you wheezing! You have such a joy for life. You still with me? Down this way! Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! The road is for runners! Uh, what happened later? I don't remember anything. Richard Burns. Do you remember him? How's that prostate holding up? Hello? Whoa, whoa! Look at that male pride go! You make me feel well adjusted. Oh, Dude, right? Back the 
fuck up, man. The failed no. job. Oh, no. This is so tragic. You and my wife should hang out. Just give up. You're overcompensating. Okay, here we go. Left push. Hey, Come on. Off, Flick the switch, Marianne. Let's go lactic. I thought I had issues, but you? You give me hope. I own you! My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit. Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy. Come on, carbs. Don't let me down now. I feel like I'm in a film. Hey, good run yesterday. <sighs> Not too shabby, huh? You can have that one on me. I never got out of second gear. I already did a 10K today. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me. Screw you! You're lucky I'm tapering for a try! You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. 
You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an iFind alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here. Take this, uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> Please excuse me. I've got something shameful to do. Excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. 
Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Eyes up, shithead! <clears throat> Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you wanna run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything, even evangelizing. You really don't know your way outside of the IT dungeon? Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. And we scan. Scanning. Rocking out might get you in the right headspace. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. That's a <laughs> Looking at you two, I think it's safe to say this nation is fucked, isn't it? Jay thinks being a quirky douche boosts creativity. 
He's this close to installing a ball pit. He's become such a cock. <laughs> if we don't keep smiling, the cameras will pick it up and we'll be outsourced to Molly. Bye now. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bag, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing C's! Hold on, I'll buzz you out. Hold on, hold on. Don't! I stoned you! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. You know, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Tonight on Fame or Shame, the finals. Now, please welcome your host, Laszlo. Yeah! Oh, 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 no, he didn't. Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, God, thank you so much. It's great to be back. Thank you. Fame or Shame, completely original television, something you've never seen before. We've got desperados performing. We've got has-beens judging them. We've got an anodyne metrosexual holding everything together. We are down to the top acts. It's the finals! Yeah! And here are our fame or shame judges. Let's introduce, you love him, I love him, ladies and gentlemen, Hugh Harrison! Woo! So, uh, who are you calling a has-been? Um, Hugh, I'd save the venom for the acts. They're not even out yet. Give a style. Which is a shame. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please welcome Mr. Jay Nuts to the stage. Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Ah! Security. Oh, Jesus! Oh, no, no, Whoa! No, 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 no. That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look.